What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Just a few days ago on May 10th, Google had their annual developer conference called Google I.O. where they announced a ton of new things that are going to be coming out in the next several months or even the next year. To nobody's surprise, they announced a ton of new features using AI in their Google search, in their Google workspace, and with their chatbot called Bard. Now, really quickly, I'm just going to highlight some of the things that they talked about, some things that I got super excited about that I couldn't wait to try out, and then we'll go take a look at Bard. Something that I think everybody saw coming is that they're going to be adding generative AI into their actual Google search. This is going to be one of the first things that you see when you Google something, so it's definitely a big change, but it'll give summarizations and it'll give recommendations for products, and it should be really interesting. The next big thing is that they're going to be adding AI into their Google workspaces. This means things like Google Docs, Google Sheets, and all the other things that's really within Google Workspace. You're going to be able to use your AI within Google Sheets and generate information and probably do a lot of other stuff. It hasn't been released yet, of course, but when it does, I mean, that is just going to be a huge, huge change. This looks extremely similar to what Microsoft announced in March when they were talking about their Microsoft Copilot, where they're going to be adding ChatGPT into a lot of their Microsoft products like Excel. They also talked about something called Help Me Write, which is going to be within Google Docs and Gmail, and probably other products as well, which will help you write things. So it'll help you write emails and responses, and it'll probably do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. The very last thing that I want to mention before we actually look at Bard is that they announced that they're going to be adding extensions, which is very, very similar to plugins with ChatGPT. Extensions have been around for a long time in Google. Anybody can go and download an extension into their browser and it works great. But these extensions are made specifically for Bard, so you can use AI in a lot of these other extensions and products. Google is really just integrating AI with a lot of their products. I personally think it's going to be amazing. It's, of course, going to push things forward and it's going to be in most likely direct competition with a lot of the things that Microsoft is putting out recently as well. Now let's jump over to my screen and take a look at a lot of the improvements that they've made with Bard. So this is the new and improved Bard, and if you don't recognize it, that's most likely because I'm using dark theme. You can change it back to use the light theme down here. This is something they just recently added. You can also look at a lot of things that they've updated right over here. So if we click on updates, it's going to tell us all the new things that they've added, like exporting to Google Docs and Gmail, what I was just talking about here with the dark theme. And probably one of the biggest updates that they made is actually right here with the help with coding. It was almost unusable before they made these changes. I mean, I almost did a review on it, but it just performed so poorly it wasn't worth comparing. But now I've tested it out, I've tried it, I've really messed with it quite a bit in the past couple weeks, and it is a lot, lot better. So these are some of the updates that they have been making, but let's actually try it out and make sure it actually works. So let's get out of here. And something that I'm gonna do is just start here with a prompt. Now, I have a few different things up here. I have my portfolio projects on GitHub, I have some products on Amazon, and then I have my YouTube channel. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this link and I'm gonna say, Give me a breakdown and I'm going to write out right down here. So give me a breakdown of what is in this GitHub repo and I'm going to paste it in right here. This is very, very similar to something like ChatGPT or actually using it with Bing when it can connect to the Internet and use links. Um, but this is very, very similar. And so this is what is in this GitHub repository, the portfolio projects. We have data cleaning, we have data exploration, API extraction, web scraping, yada, yada. So this is all the stuff that's in that GitHub repo. And it does a really good job of breaking it down. I tried this very same thing with Bard for three months ago or four months ago, and it couldn't do it. Uh, it was pretty terrible. Now, something that is a huge improvement is the coding. So let's come back here. And let's come down here and say, I want to scrape all of the products and prices from this URL. Please write this code in Python. And I'm going to paste the URL and we're going to see what it does. Now I'm about to show you probably one of my favorite things about this. And it does a really good job just glancing at this. This looks really simple. Request beautiful soup. Uh, gets all the products with the div tag, yada, yada, yada. Pulls all the products in. It's great. What I really like about this is that it has something called a draft where it literally is changing the code 
with each of these. And so you can go and you can see, oh, I don't like this one. I actually like how this is formatted better or, oh, this one actually works better because of this. And you can visually see it super easily, which you really can't do with ChatGPT right now, which is something that I think this is a big improvement on ChatGPT, something that they should add because I really like the ability to kind of scroll through here and you can even generate new drafts. Now you can do that in ChatGPT, you can do that in Bing where you can regenerate it and it'll write a whole new thing. But one other thing is that it takes a long time. So it's actually writing it out line by line, whereas Google Bard is literally just giving it to you. It's just giving it all to you at once, which I kind of prefer. Um, although ChatGPT is kind of made to seem more conversational, you don't get as much of that conversational piece, in my opinion, with Bard, but you do get a much quicker output. So the code here is already a lot better. And the last thing you can do is something like looking at a YouTube channel. So you can come here and you can say, give me an outline of what this channel on YouTube talks about. There we go. And we're gonna see what it gives us. So it gives you a quick breakdown of who I am, uh, what I talk about right here, and then some of my most popular videos. Now I will say, knowing my channel, this doesn't get it 100% correct. Bing never got it 100% correct either. Uh, things like the ultimate guide to data cleaning. I've never made a video like that, although I've done lots of data cleaning videos. Um, there's only a few here that are actually ones that I have made. So it kind of gives broad generalizations. It's not crazy specific, but overall it does a pretty good job. I'm getting about the same output as I was getting with Bing when I asked it the same question. Now, if you didn't use Barb when it was announced like four or five months ago, this is a complete overhaul. I mean, this is completely different. You're getting much better responses. It's a much better UI. Everything is so much better. Before, I couldn't even get code at all. It just wasn't an option. They didn't even have that. So now you're actually getting a lot of those things that I really wish it had when it first was launched. Now, this isn't a full tutorial on how to use Bard. I'll probably make a whole nother video on that as well as a video comparing Bard to ChatGPT or Bing. But what I will say is this is a huge improvement to what it was before. And in fact, I've been using this for the past week or two and I've been liking it more than things like Bing. Although I like ChatGPT more than Bing, but Bing has up-to-date information. So if I had to use Bing or Bard, I would be using Bard right now. I think it's really, really good. It's also free, just like Bing is, and Google just announced that anybody can use Bard now. There's no waiting list, so I will leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and try this out. But genuinely, I think this is gonna be my go-to. I canceled, I actually had a ChatGPT subscription for the Pro for about a month or two. I was writing a lot of content, I was creating a lot of things. It was very helpful. But for the past two weeks, I've been using Bard. And so I haven't had to pay those $20 because I canceled that subscription. So it's saving me money already. It's really, really good. I highly recommend you try it out. Now, when all these new integrations are available, like the Google Sheets and Google Docs, I will be making videos on those because I personally am just super excited about them. In the near future, all these AI integrations are gonna be inevitable. We just can't get away from them. And they are gonna speed up our work quite a bit. So I highly recommend start messing around with them, start learning them because I really think these are things that you're gonna have to know in the future. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I get super crazy excited about this stuff, so I just had to make a quick video and share this with you, but I'm really excited for all the new things that Google is putting out. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.